Good day viewers, you are welcome. Let's solve these functional equations. We have f of x equals x cubed divided by 3 plus x squared plus x. And what is the inverse of this function? So let's solve this problem step by step. First, we want to find f inverse of x. Let's try and understand this function. Since f a is a cubic function with the power of 3, and let's say it's a cubic polynomial, and we can get a simple algebraic expression for f of x, for f inverse of x like this, and which will be in a general form of solving the cubic equations. So the only thing we can do is we have to understand the domain and the monoticity of this. If it is monotone or and the concept of the domain of it. So in the first step, let's say I consider finding the derivative of this function. For the derivative of this function, we are going to have f inverse f prime of x equals differentiating this we have 3x squared divided by 3 plus 2x then plus 1 and in the next step we are going to have f inverse of x equals when 3 cancelled 3 we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 here is the derivative of the function. And in the next step, let's say I write this x squared plus 2x plus 1 as x plus 1 raised to the power of 2. It's still the same thing. So this is telling us that for every f inverse f prime of x, this is always greater than or equal to 0. And for all x, any value of x that we plug in here, it will always be equal to positive and uh, or it is equal to zero. So if we test for when x equals to minus one here, that is only where we have zero. The other values always give us positive. If we test for x as negative, it always gives us positive because of this squared. So therefore, at x, equals minus one so this is the only the point that we are going to have <coughs> is zero so therefore let's check for substituting this x equals minus one into the original function we have f of one equals we have one cubed divided by three plus one squared plus one and uh the last one is going to be minus 1. So minus 1 squared here. So this is also minus 1 raised to power 3. This is minus 1 squared. So everything here, it gives us this cancelled. And we have minus 1 divided by 3, which is for f of 1. And since the derivative is 0 at a single point, only a point, which is minus 1, is the derivative equals to 0. And uh, it is positive every other way, then this is called a uh, monotone increasing. That is, the FA is strictly increasing. So, which means this one is a one to one function. So, it's a one to one function, and its F inverse of S is always positive everywhere. So, therefore, after understanding this domain, then let's start and uh, find the f inverse from the given function. First is we are going to let uh, the f of x to be equals y. So by letting this equals to y, then we are going to have x raised to the power of 3, then divided by 3 plus x squared plus x 
equals y. And shouldn't forget that from here, our x will be equals f inverse of y. Then the next step, we have... So looking at this side, let's try and multiply through by 3. Multiplying through by 3, so we have this 3 cancelled 3. And here we have x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x equals 3y. And next, let's add 1 to both sides. We have x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x, then plus 1 equals 1 plus 3y. And there is a reason to this. If you consider x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1, this is just as when we have x plus 1 raised to the power of 3. By trying to use the Pascal triangle coefficient, so we try and apply the Pascal triangle coefficient for x plus 1 cubed, we are going to get the whole of this. Then this equals 1 plus 3y. So next step is, I want to make x the subject of the formula. We have to take the cube root of both sides. So by taking the cube root of x plus 1 raised to the power of 3, so this will be equals the cube root of 1 plus 3y. So this cancels this, and we have x plus 1 equals cube root of 1 plus 3y. Let's subtract 1 from both sides. So we are going to have x equals the cube root of 1 plus 3y, then minus 1. Initially, I let x to be equals f inverse of y. By replacing this, we are going to have f inverse of y equals, I want to write this as minus 1 plus the cube root of 1 plus 3y. And since we are looking for f of x, then let's change this y to x. And we have f inverse of x equals minus 1 plus the cube root of 1 plus 3x. And this function is valid everywhere any value that we plug in. So this is how to solve this problem and I solved it step by step. If you have any comments to give based on this problem or you have another method of solving this, you can just drop it in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.